Hello everyone, welcome back to another brand new Star Stable video. Today, we are going to talk about this is basically your entire guide. Everything you need to know about spring tokens, how to get them quickly, literally the fastest ways to accumulate spring tokens possible, and just how to save up everything like that. I will of course have many more tips and tricks, you know, spoilers, everything about the equestrian festival on my channel very, very soon. And also two new, two brand new star coin codes which are march codes coming out very soon so make sure you have notifications on so you do not miss that but without any further ado if you don't know spring tokens are basically the currency of the equestrian festival so there are like new sets right and new hairstyles new basically sets we focus on sets for this and sometimes pets that cost spring tokens and you can only purchase them these tokens this kind of limited time currency during the equestrian festival and then all of these items are locked off. There is no way to get them other than right now during the festival. So now is your chance. It is the first day of the festival, so you have a lot of time to save up. I do recommend before we get into the video making a little wish list, but this is just gonna be like all the ways that you can get spring tokens. But again, more tips and tricks coming very soon, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Let's go. Okay, so the first way that you want to focus on when it comes to spring tokens in Star Stable is definitely questing. Those introductory quests give you like three or four spring tokens just for like, you know, parading around the little equestrian festival and just seeing everything that there is to do. So introductory quests, just do all the quests possible. When I tell you, don't look at your spring token count, do all the quests and you look at it after, you will have so many more, at least like 50 to 100 spring tokens. Like this alone alone is a great method when it comes to collecting and saving up. Just make sure that you do all the quests, stay on top of it. Of course, this year we are getting brand new Sabine quests as well, but Star Sable is giving us the chance and also new players the chance to revisit the old Sabine quests, so make sure that you focus on the Sabine quests, do all of the possible quests, everything possible. This is like the number one way and literally the fastest way. You don't even need to read the dialogue if you are someone that doesn't really like like to quest that much but I'm just telling you if you want these free items quickly free pets everything about spring tokens will focus on the quest this is literally just get them done you know and more will be added later on but at the start there are just so many things that you can do and focus on especially sometimes reputation as well which does kind of coincide with the quest you need to do the quest first girly so make sure you do the quest and focus focus on that because that is like a huge factor of the equestrian festival and that's going to need to, that's going to be one of the areas you want to be focusing on for sure look around the city like the city is ours don't need much money to look good yeah you're already a star these are the days this is the life you're everything that i want bet these guys want the next way to get spring tokens, I'm just doing this after quests because it makes sense, but once you do the introductory quest, there is actually going to be quote unquote reputation. So just log on daily and do all of the available little blue exclamation points. Those are going to give you somewhere from two spring tokens all the way up to four spring tokens daily, sometimes one, but you know, every spring token counts, especially when you're trying to save up for items, accumulate as many as possible so just logging on and re-going through, seeing what reputation needs to be done. Reputation is a big one when it comes to any Star Stable Festival because they want players to keep logging on and how they do that is usually through the currency of the festival and for this one, it is spring tokens and I don't know if Camp Western uses this too, but they might. I'm not too sure, but always like, even if you have an excess of tokens at the end of this, it is always good to save up for like next next years, you know, upcoming years, upcoming festivals if Star Stable switches out the currency. So doing that reputation is kind of vital to saving up, especially like if you're saving up for an item and you already did all of the introductory quests, there's not that like 
quick a way to get spring tokens other than reputation and just doing this little by little you will see like in the next upcoming weeks when the festival is still playing through you will have made like so many tokens that you can't even imagine so i am telling you now is the time to definitely stay on top of it you know get that reputation done it is a great way to save up and look down at your accounts and realize just how many you have gotten overall <laughs> Okay, the next way, the Equestrian Festival actually does focus quite a lot on championships. I'm not sure if it's too champ focused this year, but I'm just gonna say this here in case it is. But last year, there were a ton of like, there was a whole championship schedule. If it's not out this update, it will definitely be out next update. But there's a whole championship schedule you follow. And Star Stable really pushes the players to compete in championships and just experience championships during this time. So having those on your radar, having like a set schedule of the ones you might want to attend. I think the first champ every day gives you like a little bit of spring tokens. So I would focus on that. Championships, another huge one is racing now there is a race there's a dressage race i think there's going to be one added a little bit further down the line too so there's going to be two dressage races soon not yet right now there's just one but one is going to be added star stable said a little bit in the future updates of the equestrian festival there is also a brand new race over at the moreland midsummer area so if you go there participate in the races you could participate in those daily i'm not sure i know the dressage has a purple x exclamation points but i don't think that is going to give you infinite spring tokens but the daily one should so when i say it's daily races okay not i don't think star stable would add that where you could just like keep going and like get so many spring tokens just from doing it on end i don't think star stable added afk farming not afk but you know kind of like a farming method so i would check that out but keeping on track of the races doing them are a great way to get spring tokens because they give you quite a lot if you log on daily for them also, they do give an extra amount of horse XP compared to regular races, so there is a little bonus on the side there as well. I should have mentioned, but with questing, there is also another bonus where you are going to be getting character XP and horse XP, so these, like, introductory kind of few days are definitely vital to just saving up, getting a lot of spring tokens, and racing is another great way to do that. spring tokens can give you like right now we have very base level there is one new set that spring tokens can get you there's two i lied there's two new sets we have the peach set and also a little super cute flowery green set and here are the prices for those right now as you can see but usually further down the line star stable gives us a little bit more incentive to save up for spring token they include more free pets more free sets just releasing things little by little and giving us a chance to save up for each of those so right now this is what you have so right now this is what star stable in star stable you could purchase with the tokens but keep in mind star stable might be adding more soon so if you are not set on these sets or like items yet stay tuned because there is a chance star stable will be adding more whether that's pets outfits tech items so we we will have to wait and see but for now these are the basics that you can use and buy with spring tokens which i think are super cute all of these sets by the way are limited edition only for the equestrian festival so buy them okay girl save up for them wish list them because this is your only chance to get these items you will have to wait another year star stable is not playing around when it comes to festivals so keep that in mind Bye everyone, thank you so much for watching this quick guide on spring tokens and the equestrian festival. Again, more guides, tips, and tricks, and of course, the final two star coin codes coming very, very soon, so make sure you have notifications on. I don't know when Star Stable is posting them, but it is soon. It has to be. I'm surprised they ha I think they're doing one today. I'm surprised they haven't, because equestrian festival, that is like a milestone in the Star Stable calendar, the yearly calendar, you know, so I feel like another one might be coming soon make sure you have notifications on for that but other than that i hope this was helpful just in the basics everything you need to know about collecting spring tokens fastest ways to get them obviously and as always i hope you have a great day stay tuned as i post brand new star stable videos each and every day and i really appreciate you watching bye bye